Lauren and Jimmy, you two completely inspire me. You've created one great love story here. Both growing up in the same state, constantly coming so close <laughs> to crossing paths. Having such close bronze with mutual friends, but time never aligning to bring you two together. If we look back at 2002, a home was purchased in Old Lyme, Connecticut. Not an ordinary home, a nice beach house. One you could foresee being home to sun-soaked weekends, beach days, barbecues, closing out nights with card games, maybe a few well-deserved drinks. Little did we know this home would become something much more special. Sometimes the simplest of settings give birth to life's great occurrences. One fateful summer weekend, Lauren, true to form, uh, jumped in a car on a whim with friends en route to a weekend of Jimmy entertaining, um, which, become, which had become common at this home. That weekend could certainly fall under phenomena. The unlikelihood of this happening, um, yet this is happening. Not luck, not karma, coincidence, nor convenience, but happenstance brings you two together for all of your fam family and friends. Wow, how special that is. Like many great love stories, yours came with struggles. Living in different cities, distance forced you to work hard at your relationship. Busing back and forth between New York and Boston, something Jimmy would ironically mark, remark as one of his favorite parts of your budding relationship. In conversations with Jimmy, he looks back really fondly on his time visiting Lauren and Hingham. Getting to form a relationship with her family early, he actually reveled in wearing Steve K down. <laughs> and Lauren, you took a really big chance moving home to save in hopes of building something everlasting in a new city. Both of your efforts have paid off and that's some. Jimmy, you deserve this. Lauren, you as well. And I say this not to presuppose that there was an end game for either of you, but rather you both have worked so hard on making sure those around you experience true joy and happiness. We're happy to see it happen to the two of you. So many people spend their lives searching hard for what you two found, and you guys left it up to happenstance. You both outpour so much love into one another. The kindness, support, and optimism you both approach each day with. Please glory in that and be incredibly grateful for it. And now you get to set the mold. From this day forward, the relationship will go on to have lasting achievements. You'll go on to build a family that's larger and stronger than the one you have today. You'll build a home that fosters love and support and just makes people feel good to be around. You will sacrifice again and again for one another. You will have excitement for one another's company as you venture into the unknown. I'm sure you've gotten advice about maintaining a strong and lasting partnership, but you'll chart your own path the way you've always wanted to parents you so admire sitting out there today, one day that'll be you. Children of your own committing to love, trying to live up to the example you guys have set for that. Please make sure to always lead one another and constantly challenge each other. Make us proud, like you always have, and continue to outpour all of that goodness as individuals and as a couple into us. We are forever indebted to you guys. So what do we say we marry you guys? You, James, promise to love Lauren and respect her, to share your life and your dreams, to build with her a home that is a place of love, <laughs> happiness, commitment, and growth. Do you promise to be a companion to her in all of her successes and failures, her happiness and sadness, to always to give to her your unwavering support, and above all else, the freedom to be Lauren? I do. <laughs> do you, Lauren, promise to love James and respect him, to share your life and your dreams, to build with him a hope that is a place of love, happiness, commitment, and growth. Do you promise to be a companion to him in all of his successes and failures, his happiness and sadness, to always give to him your unwavering support, and above all else, the freedom to be James? Yes, I do. And I will look to Samuel for the rings. take you Lauren to be my wife. I James take you Lauren to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I, love you and I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. All the days of my life. Oh, 
Hi, Lauren. Thank you, James. Good to be my husband. Good to be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love and honor you. I will love and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. <laughs>
Pittsburgh.